This is a video about um, plants, sowing seeds, gardening. Um, it's just really about all the plants that I have and any tips that I have. I would highly recommend uh, Praxis's channel. It's P-R-A-X-S-U-S -S -S and then some numbers. That's uh, who I watch. He's really good, has a lot of great tips. This is really just about any tips I have and all the plants I have. Um, for any beginning gardeners when you want to sow something, I'd recommend really using like something like that, if you can see. I'll get a better shot. All right, so this is what I like to use really for um, germinating. I call it my little germinating pods. Basically, it's just a 12 dozen egg carton. I get it from Costco because my chickens aren't big enough to lay eggs yet. So, you know, I get my eggs in this. I split up the eggs in smaller cartons and then I just fill it with dirt, put the seeds in, cover it with a little bit more dirt water it and then you just close it up and you put it in the sunny window that's my lovely planter window and um they sprout really quick in here because um the closed top really makes a greenhouse effect type of thing so lots of humidity lots of warmth the circulating water it it makes them happy they sprout and they get very healthy these are some of my other sprouts. As you can see, I have a lot of everything. I'm planning on doing a farm stand this year, but we'll see what happens. Um, basically, when they get big enough to the point where they're touching the top, you want to go ahead, you want to go ahead and cut off the top. Like this one is a cut off top and then I just placed it on top of a new germinating one. So you just cut the top so it's not touching the top. Uh, over here we have some salad greens, some broccoli. Cantaloupe isn't growing yet. Organic Romanesco, zucchini isn't growing yet. Organic mustard greens, lettuce. This is actually a broccoli from last year. Um, the season wasn't too good last year. We got lots of rain and whatnot. But, um, there he is. A lot of my plants, they were doing great, and then they just, um, they either died or <clears throat> they didn't grow in time. And it was the end of the season. So with a lot of them, like this broccoli, I dug up the ones that looked the biggest and the healthiest, and I repotted them inside. So this broccoli... It's not huge, but you know, when the weather gets warmer, I'm gonna put it outside and it's gonna continue growing and make a broccoli. Um, let's see, what else can I say? These are my peas up here. Um, but yeah, I did that with a lot of things. I did that with my eggplants also. So these are a few of my eggplants from last year. That's one of them. There's another one. And there's some see them right now the thing with the eggplants um, I brought them all in they have been doing okay um, they've been getting spider mites every now and then which they're these little tiny things and um, they create webbing and they basically kill your plant like aphids would or anything else would um, they're bad when I get spider mites I usually take um, an all-natural soap and mix a little bit with water and uh, just spray the plants with it you know use very gently use a, a washcloth and kind of wipe away all the spider mites and just make sure that they're not coming back because they will destroy your plants the thing with the eggplants inside they are still alive as you can see like they have flowered through the winter could see a flower right there oh, it just came off there's a flower and I have been um, I have been I have been pollinating them when they were flowering but for some reason the flowers didn't produce eggplant they just kind of wilted and died so I'm not too sure why that is maybe eggplants just 
don't do well inside. Maybe they knew it wasn't their season. Maybe the window was too cold. Maybe they weren't getting enough natural sunlight. Could be a number of things. Um, but for some reason, they didn't want to give me any eggplants. Here is some parsley and basil. This I'm actually growing for um, my boyfriend's grandma because she loves so much parsley. But it's doing very well, and I grew this from seed. What I would recommend, if you're going to do it in a pot like this, this is what I did. I put the soil in, I put a few of the seeds in, covered it with a little bit of soil, watered it, and then I put plastic wrap on it. And basically it's going to create the same thing as um, the egg cartons. It's going to make like a little greenhouse, so it's going to be very happy in there. It's going to sprout quick and be healthy. Um, these are some romaine lettuces from last year that I managed to dig up and save. They've been doing okay, but they haven't really grown a whole bunch. They've just kind of stayed alive, stayed the same. This is one of my orchids. It's a very pretty one. I've managed to keep this one alive so far, which I'm grateful for. Um, I saw a very good video on orchid care. She was actually talking to a man who like grows orchids for a living, so I'm going to take what he says and do that. They like sunlight, they, he said they really like air circulation, so if you have a fan in the room, it'd be great to like turn the fan on, because they like that. They love humidity, they love warmth, they don't like direct sun, so like it's by a window, but it's not, you know, right in the sun, because that can um, burn the flowers or the leaves. But he said basically for watering, you want to take it out of its pot like that, completely saturate it with water, completely drain it, make sure, you know, you turn it, everything's all drained out, and then put it back in the pot. And it's been happy. You know, once in a while you can mist it, that'll keep it happy. But, um, yeah, that's, that's that basically. And do that, um, approximately once a week, the, um, the saturation water technique. These are some baby aloes that I have growing. I actually bought these off of Etsy. They're not doing wonderfully. They came pretty small and unhappy when I got them, but they're they're getting there now. Let's see what else I have. This is an, two avocados and strawberry seeds. The avocados haven't yet sprouted. I'm hoping that they're going to, um, but I haven't had luck sprouting an avocado yet. I've tried the toothpick method on the other windowsill. There was an avocado sitting with the toothpick method in water. That, that is that one. I've had that one for over a month sitting in water. Um, I refill the water whenever it gets low. It's been warm, it's been sunny. I don't know why it doesn't want to sprout. I'm thinking that avocado just doesn't like me. This is Velociraptor. He's our iguana. Um, and above his cage is a heat lamp, and that's where I have my, my mango pits. Because I couldn't seem to get any of those to sprout. And now that they're under a heat lamp, that one has, I don't know if you could see it, it has a little pink thing coming out of it right there. It's growing. It actually needs water right now, so I'll go ahead and do that in a minute. But back to the avocados. I haven't gotten them to sprout yet. I'm hoping they're going to. These are strawberry seeds. They're very, very hard to see because they're so small. You can see the little green in there. Um, I've heard a, th a few things about strawberry seeds. Someone said that with strawberry seeds, you need to freeze them first in order for them to grow, which isn't true. Um, these strawberry seeds I didn't buy. I actually saved them myself. Uh, approximately seven months ago, I had organic strawberries. Figured, why not? I'll scrape some seeds, dry them, bag them, and now I'm growing them. Um, you can grow them from soil, but I wouldn't recommend it because it's it's easier to tr keep track of them, I find. And um, they have a really good germination rate in the technique that I'm using. So I'm going to show you that now. This is a regular Ziploc bag. It has a damp paper towel inside, and I just sprinkled the seeds on it. So this, basically everything goes back to the whole greenhouse technique. 
plants like heat, sun, and humidity, and if you give them that, you know, hopefully they'll grow, unless they have a specific growing condition that they prefer. But if you can see, there's seeds everywhere. Some of them are sprouting. There's some green. There's some green throughout it. But when they get, when they start growing, they have the two leaves and they have the little root. I try to very, very gently take them out and then put them in here in my cup of dirt because um, you don't want their roots to burn or them to just suffocate in the bag. So once they are germinated and like almost a week old, I'd transplant them into here. Again, very, very gently because the strawberry seeds are very delicate.